interest rates will eventually go higher again, both 10-year yields as well as um, the Fed funds rate, because the Fed's path is unquestionably to gradually increase the Fed funds rate into 2019. But there's a significant um, debate here as to how this shift to normal monetary policy should be viewed. Keep in mind that the United States is the only major economy that is even close to shifting back to normality. And our judgment is that this is a huge advantage um, for the U.S. economy. I was always a big fan of Ben Bernanke. I think he um, correctly was aggressive and bold in his monetary super stimulus. But ultimately, monetary stimulus is a palliative. It's not a long-term solution. And many of the worst fears of the financial crisis have actually been realized in terms of slower growth, lower productive capacity of the major economies. And that's because depressed interest rates misallocate resources. They create malaise, they create inequalities. And getting a interest rate policy um, driven by market forces, I think is very, very positive. So although higher interest rates, as we all know, do have an effect on the behavior of equity prices, I think this is an enormous advantage um, for the United States and for U.S. assets, including U.S. equities. Many parts of the world, such as European equities, face the real possibility that they can never exit monetary super stimulus. And when you combine it uh, with many other demographic problems, um, it raises significant questions over the long-term profitability of those parts of the world.